Team Legends. Lovato checking in here. Or D-Bag, as some people like to say. I love you haters. I love you guys. So much love for you. Anyway. <laughs> Can't wait to read the comments. Like, no matter what I say, there's going to be hate, period. <laughs> but uh, just chilling here, guys. Um, in Woodland Hills. Are we still in Woodland Hills, guys? Oh, it's kind of far. <laughs> Strong. Pre appreciate it. <laughs> Are we, we'll, we'll keep it rolling. Are we in Woodland Hills? Um, somewhere around there. Somewhere around Woodland Hills, California, SoCal, LA area. Uh, we road trip down here. Um, Matt Ogus, I'm sure you guys are aware of that guy. I'm here with Brandon Lee Wells, the man himself, the myth, the legend, <laughs> the videographer. Seriously proud of that guy. But um, we just got done filming a uh, really, really sick bench press tutorial video with Bryce Lewis for the Legends of Aesthetics website that's coming soon. Um, enough of that. This video is actually about, um, you know, not, we're done with that for the day. We're just chilling in the hotel room. Losers checking in Friday, uh, like midnight. <laughs> oh shit, let's go rage. Or let's chill in a hotel room and just fucking make videos. Hey. Routine. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about uh, my routine, you know, um, where I'm taking things this off season, what I'm doing, what the approach is. Um, and you guys are right to, you know, assume that, um, and, and it's not always going to be the case, but Matt and I are doing the same thing. Um, and we kind of we kind of based it off of an existing program, but then we kind of structured it uh, in our own way, um, in a sense. I know Matt's going to be making a video a little bit more detailed on the lifting, on the lifts themselves, um, and just in more detail with what we're doing. But Matt and I are on the same program. We lift the same days of the week. You guys know we live together, and um, what we're doing is similar to a legs push pull like we were before, where we were doing legs push pull off repeat. So. Legs push, pull off, legs push, pull off, and just keep repeating. So frequency tended to be very close to two times a week per muscle group, which is, um, I don't want to say optimal. Um, optimal really ranges um, from person to person. But as far as hypertrophy, as far as muscle growth and muscle development from um, for a natural athlete, tends to be a pretty good amount of uh, load. You know, frequency, and uh, depending on um, the volume that you do, it could, it could work out pretty well with that as well. Um, <clears throat> the way we changed it now is we're doing, instead of, instead of cycling through, you know, legs push, pull off, legs push, pull off, what we're doing is we're doing, um, starting Monday, for example, we will do, uh, legs. So heavy lower is dedicated to Monday. It works out great because Monday is international chest day. You got people benching left and right, um, you know, testing their bench press. Um, trying to get that up, trying to you know hit more plates for more dates, and uh, meanwhile squat racks are empty. I do recommend squatting on Mondays, guys. It's a good day to do it. Um, so heavy leg days on Mondays. Uh, from there, it's heavy upper. So that includes pushes and pulls. That day tends to be pretty long, um, from what I've noticed. But I still like it, you know, and it's heavy as well. So you know lower rep range. I've been kind of sticking to the four to six rep range, depending on the exercise. Um, if I'm still, you know, if I'm feeling a little pain or if I'm still learning the range of motion or whatever it may be because I'm kind of working my way into free weights and dumbbells and I haven't done those in a while, I'll, you know, increase the rep range a little bit just for the time being so that way I make sure my form and techniques on point. Um, but in general, Monday and Tuesday, I'm kind of keeping things anywhere between four and eight repetitions, meaning I fall under that rep range because of the weight that I'm using um, or eventually that's the plan, right? Um, once I got the motions down, once you know my mobility is there, once the, the exercise feels right. So I got a lot of limitations, that's why I'm saying it. Um, currently my squat is uh, working, you know, I'm, I'm literally squatting 185, 225 for my sets even on heavy days because I'm uh, relearning the high bar squat perfectly, making sure I get it right. Uh, but eventually I'm going to be working with weight that, you know, is going to be challenging me for four to eight reps. If I can do, this is a good way to um, gauge your rep range, guys. When I say four to eight reps, for example, usually four to six, but four to eight, um, that means that the weight that you choose puts you in that rep range. It's not, it's not that you choose a weight and do it for that amount of reps, you know. The, the rep range exists for a reason, meaning 
Um, if you can do, if you can't even do four reps, if you can only get two or three, then you probably want to decrease some weight, and, and your form's probably suffering at that point because you're doing almost almost a max. If you can do um, nine reps, ten reps, then you're not in the heavy rep range for your power day. So choose a weight that's going to put you in there. Four to eight reps, guys. Um, or four to six is really where I like to stay if I'm actually shooting for you know a power day, uh, personally. Um, the next day, so Monday is heavy lower. Tuesday is heavy upper. Same thing applies as far as the reps. You know, four to six, four to eight sometimes, depending on the exercise. Um, cover all types of pushes and all types of pulls. Generally, I like to generally I like to say overhead push, incline push, flat push, and I don't really do too much decline, but at least flat incline overhead as far as pushes. Pulls, I like to cover horizontal, or sorry, vertical pulls and horizontal pulls, and maybe um, maybe like a hammer strength diagonal uh, pull to get it from another angle. So it should be equivalent to like the incline press, but pulling kind of right from that angle. So uh, it tends to be a longer day. Um, I usually choose you know three to four exercises, and I do three to four sets in general on this entire routine. And again, personally, that's me. That's what I like to do. That's what I'm doing. Uh, it seems to be a good amount of volume without overdoing it and um, overtaxing me. So Monday, heavy lower. Tuesday, heavy upper. Wednesday is off. We just did our heavy lower, did our heavy upper. Wednesday is off. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is a legs push pull. Very similar to uh, what we were doing before, almost, almost the same. Um, these days are more hypertrophy rep based, so they're a little bit higher reps, right? It's always good to work your high reps and your low reps, guys, for those of you guys who still aren't aware. Um, <clears throat> you, want to, you want to target your muscle fibers in every way possible, and you're going to do this by training in both rep ranges, where some people think it's just optimal to do one or the other. You want to combine both. So Monday and Tuesday is our heavy day. Um, Wednesday is off. Thursday, legs hypertrophy. Friday, uh, push hypertrophy. Hy I can't even pronounce that. Hypertrophy. 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 <laughs> uh, and Saturday is uh, pull hypertrophy. So usually rep range, guys. Uh, personally, I'm looking at um, usually 10 to 12 repetitions. Uh, very good form, really advocating and really pushing good form from the very beginning of this off season. So that way, once I work my way into the higher weights, I got the you know I got the form down. I'm not going to hurt myself. I don't want to injure myself like I did last time for my powerlifting training. Um, I had my gear, I had my singlet ready to go, and I couldn't even compete. As some of you guys know, I went through an injury, a rib injury, and I was pulled out of the competition just for you know um, um, getting injured through some heavy weights. So if it's done right, heavy lifting is is a go. Um, you can work your way up, be safe. But uh, for the time being, um, and that's October 25th, 2013 for reference, um, that's what we're doing. We've been doing it for a few weeks, it's going well. So Monday, legs heavy. Tuesday, upper heavy, including pushes and pulls. Wednesday, off. Thursday, legs hypertrophy. Friday, push hypertrophy. Saturday, pull hypertrophy. Sunday off and then repeat on Monday. The reason why we switched over to this guys, the main reason is because uh, we wanted to be on a schedule with our uh, videos that we're uh, making and um, our, our schedule in terms of you know getting stuff done and being able to allocate certain times for certain tasks for uh, Legends of Aesthetics and, and just our movement in general. So um, um, this allows us to have to know that we're going to do, you know, for example, heavy legs on Monday and that's going to be set. Heavy upper on Tuesday and that's going to be set. You know, Wednesday off. Whereas before, it was legs push, pull off, legs push, pull off, legs push, pull off. It wasn't a cycle that happened to be exactly seven days um, because it was an eight day cycle. You know, it would be legs push, pull off, legs push, pull off. And that would be an eight day cycle in order for it to be consistent. Um, or if you want to call it a four, four day cycle or whatever. But it just didn't match with the seven days of the week, meaning um, your pull day would fall on a Tuesday one week and on a Thursday the next week or Friday the next week or Wednesday the next week or whatever and it wouldn't be consistent, you know, pulls on one day. So that's what we wanted. Um, this program tends to be very similar to legs push pull off, legs push pull off, but we're uh, combining um, pushes and pulls into our heavy day. Um, this allows us to, like I said, do the same thing um, over and over every week. And um, had one more point. Um, it still has twice a week frequency. Um, so we're doing legs, pushes, and pulls twice a week, all the way through, bless you. And, <laughs> and uh, so the same frequency as the legs, push, pull that we were on. Um, 
and frequent, like I said, frequency is the same and yeah. volume is the same as well. So again, I love you guys for the support, putting it out there because you guys wanted to hear about the routine. Um, hopefully that helps. Matt will probably have a more structured video, a little bit more details into what specifically we're doing um, <clears throat> on his channel soon. Um, but I wanted to clue you guys in on how we're kind of structuring things and uh, put it out there because you guys had asked me for it. So I figured why not? You know, we got some, some nifty camera stuff going on. So popped it off and yeah. And uh, one more thing, let's drag this on a little bit longer. <laughs> I love it, you know, just another video where I could have said it in 30 seconds, right guys? And I dragged it on for 15 minutes. You mind? You hating? Cheers. <laughs>